Head of Local Government Administration, Eastern South East Local Government, Dr. Greg Elimihele, presented cash gift of 500,000 Naira to the widow of the slain vigilante. Dr. Elimihele condoled with the family of the disease over the unfortunate incident. Dr. Elimihele said, Let Mr. Bernard Haruriho died a hero in line of duty. He urged the widow to make judicious use of the money by investing in lucrative business venture to enable her provide for the occupied family. A representative of the Vigilance Group of Nigeria, codename Atalakpa, a South South East local government area, thanked the head of the local government for the gesture, pointing out that it will further spur them to be dedicated to their job. He assured the widow that the security organization will continue to render support to the family of their slain colleague. I will took a decision to assist the family, and that is what has just happened today. The local government have been able to live up to expectation. And uh, we did this to encourage those vigilante members who are living that it's not that it's local government, it's a responsible government, borrowing leave from the state governor, His Excellency Mr. Gordon Obaseki, we have to do the same to assist the disease relatives because their life is more important now. We have to make them know that they are not working in vain and that the government is always there to look into their plight. I don't even think that they would do something like that to make sure say, the family will not cry. But as I did that to us, and all we with the Viginati in the East and Southeast, the VGN in the East and Southeast, we are also much happy with what the local government chairman did to us. The widow and some of her children appreciated the local government for the gesture. <laughs> I want to thank the local government head and everyone that have assisted me. May God bless everyone. We appreciate it. The good thing we do for us, God will bless it. God will bless the chairman. Contrary to earlier reports of the survivors of late Bernard, he is survived by wife and ten children, as a wife is currently nursing a set of twins. Ferdinand Osakwe reporting.